Welcome to Ham Radio QRP. Today we compare a Pagali Intrepid bug to a Vibroplex bug. This is a bit like comparing a 1950s American car with tail fins to a Ferrari. They each have their charms. Let's look at the Intrepid versus a standard Vibroplex bug. Well, this is a deluxe Vibroplex bug. It's chrome plated. So the adjustments are pretty much the same. The only adjustment that the Begali bug has that is missing on a Vibroplex bug is the dit dwell damper. So on the Begali there is a magnet here that pulls against the pendulum, the end of the pendulum, and it controls how much time it dwells on the pin. So again, Dick contacts are made with this little pin plunger on the Begali Intrepid as where the Dick contacts are made with the uh, U-spring here. So you'll see I have a piece of, I have some dental floss, unused dental floss I'll mention, uh, that I wrap around the U-springs of Vibroplex bugs and by moving, by moving that either further out or further in I can control the dwell time of that dit contact, as where the Bagali has a very nice magnet to control that. So um, this bug has a very speed attached to it, so it'll go down a little bit slower than the Bagali. So we'll we'll look at that as well. Um, but you can see size-wise, the Bagali is smaller but heavier. It's almost a six-pound key. Uh, this this weighs a little over four, I think. I need to put them on a scale. So let's just uh, get some timing set here. All right, I have them set to about the same dit speed. I think it's at about 20. So let's just compare some things. As we send characters, you'll hear that the bug is generally a little noisier. Its damper mechanism just is sort of loose and clattery. That's the way the bugs are designed with their dampers. The Begali, on the other hand, has this little Teflon uh, bushing. And if I just send a string of dits, you'll sort of hear boing. That's the damper uh, coming to rest. Sounds a little different than a bug's. Right, you can hear it hitting its damper. And inter-character things, so... Uh, a little bit more noise with the bug, not a lot. So, one big difference in the way that they feel the touch on the Begali is way lighter than the touch required on the Vibroplex bug. Part of that is just due to the mass involved in the pendulum. Getting the pendulum going on the Vibroplex, there's a lot of metal here and a lot of weight, especially with a very speed. So getting that pendulum moving, you can actually feel the feedback in your thumb from the end of that pendulum moving. As we're on the Begali, it's feather light and you really can't feel the pendulum moving at all under your thumb. Partly that's just this mechanism. So they have split the lever. So as I push the lever to the left, you can see the split portion here is pushing the lever that actually begins the pendulum moving. And of course the pendulums are moving in the opposite direction. The Vibroplex pendulum is hinged from the front and goes backwards. The Begali's is hinged from the rear and goes forwards. So it's being kicked from the rear. When I move the lever to the left, as opposed to the bug, it's being pushed from the front. And there's just more interaction with the bug and the pendulum with your thumb than the Begali. Not a huge difference, but as you're just sending on them, it, it feels very different.
let's see what else so speed wise let's see how slow or how fast we can make them go so the Bugali has two weights moving both well I'll move this one to the front first if I move them both to the front um, they're not all the way up let me move them all the way up or as close as I can get them and okay you can hear that so let's get the very speed cranking here pretty equivalent. I think I could get the very speed a little bit slower. But they're both at around 15 words a minute. And let me show you a bit with that. Here I've changed the dwell time on the dits if I roll it back. They become crisper and with the bug the way I would make them crisper is to move my move my dental floss forward <laughs> um, all right so let's how fast can we go here um, I think the bug actually is a little bit faster um, let's move both these back is uh, ultimately faster than the Bagali. Now I could take one of the Bagali's weights off if I just pulled it all the way off the arm and it would easily match the bug. Dental floss had an error. Okay, yeah, my uh, dit needs some cleaning. All right, sorry about that. I had to clean the bugs. Dit contact, it had gotten a piece of dust or something in it. So let's see if we can tell a difference just in dit contact scratchiness. I did just finish cleaning the bug's contacts, so um, so let's just see what the contacts sound like. Sounds pretty good to me.
just has a little bit different sound and part of what you're hearing is just the difference in the way the contacts um, impact each key. There's sort of a higher pitched contact sound on the Bagali versus the bug. There's just less mass down in this little aluminum arm. So it makes a higher pitch. So we're here, it's going down through the steel post into the bass. And then again, dit side. All you're really hearing is the damper side. And again, the boing from this little Teflon, sprung Teflon piece. So hopefully this helped to give you an idea of uh, differences between a Fabriplex bug in terms of speed capabilities, if it's got a very speed attachment, and what you can do with dwell time with a bit of floss compared to uh, all the nice adjustments on the Bagali, which uh, I would like to say, I received this from Bagali, and other than moving the speed weights and making a slight adjustment to the DIT contact itself, I have not touched any other settings on this key. It came set up perfectly, um, perfectly for me, and uh, really pleased with both the packaging and the responsiveness of Bagali. So next we'll look at how to wire one of these up. The Bagali Intrepid arrives with a 1 8 inch tip ring sleeve male to male cable, but there's no jack on the Intrepid to connect the cable to. Bagali leaves it up to the operator to decide how to wire the cable. Under the bug, you'll find two terminals for soldering your connections. I constructed a 1 8 inch jack from parts and use shrink wrap tubing to form the stress relief to the jack. The ground or sleeve of your cable should be connected to the rear terminal and depending on your radio, you solder either the tip alone or tip and ring to the other terminal. If you order one from Bagali, be aware that you'll need to do this prior to using the key. The Bagali Intrepid is an amazing key and I hope everyone gets a chance to try one someday if they wish to. Thanks for watching Ham Radio QRP.